very processors generate a huge amount of um, high strength wastewater which cause environmental damage if not treated. Treating it is a challenge to the fact that it contains fats, oils and grease uh, in combination with cleaning agents and then uh, with a lot of pH variation. Zwitterko's breakthrough membrane technology can handle the fats, oils and grease in high strength dairy wastewater. By removing these components in front of an RO, a membrane process is then enabled which can produce the highest quality water to minimize surcharges and virtually eliminate the risk of violations. Many data processes are considering how they use water to decrease the fresh water drawdown, which is getting more expensive, as well as avoid surcharges. The dairy industry is impacted by a lot of the same drivers that are impacting many industries. There's lack of water or lack of fresh water, pollution, growing regulations, are driving sustainability targets for many companies. The sustainability targets generally involve water and energy, both in terms of reducing usage and increasing the amount of reuse. And that's why a membrane-based solution enabled by Zwitterco membranes is generating so much interest. The dairy industry is familiar with membrane technology, including reverse osmosis. However, it was not used to treat high-strength wastewater. The reason being a high level of organics, fats, oil, and grease, which fouls the membrane. With the Zwitterco superfiltration membrane, this is now possible due to the fact that we can handle high levels of organics, remove fats, oil, and grease. Dairy processors are trying to address their sustainability goals and at the same time reduce their costs. Costs primarily come from municipal surcharges and the treatment technologies currently used, including things like DAF or hauling to anaerobic digestion. So what are co membranes as part of a membrane solution can offer not only economic savings, but the highest quality water for reuse.